Hey guys, Danny here. Welcome to our first episode of Walkthrough Wednesday. I'm really excited to bring this to you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy. What we're going to do is we're going to dive right into the Fountain Tarot. This right here. And I'm going to do an overlay view, talk to you guys a little bit about it. And then at the end, I will do a reading with this deck so stay tuned for that and let me know what you think drop some comments thumbs up let me know if you like these um, I'll be bringing them to you every Wednesday so let's get started all right you guys the fountain tarot let's talk a little about the guidebook there's really nothing super special about the guidebook it talks a little about the fool's journey it has some numerology just a few spreads which are pretty good i do like their five card spread and they do have keywords for every single card which i liked the box i actually keep my cards in here this is a really nice box i like the way that it unfolds I like the ribbon where you can pop the cards out easily. It is definitely something that I keep around. Now the size of the cards are basically the same as a standard Rider weight. It's just a little bit thinner, but not very big of a difference. So they're pretty easy to shuffle. They're pretty easy to grip in your hand. Here you can see the backs of the cards, which are muted just like the color scheme within, and the silver gilding, which is beautiful and not sticky, however it is a little thick, and I'll talk more about that in just a second. As I start with the Major Arcana, I will complain a little bit about the High Priestess and the Tower. The High Priestess, I love the overall look of the card, but her head seems super disproportionate and it really bothers me. I think it's mostly because there's that shawl around her neck and it makes it look like she doesn't have one and that her head's really big. Um, as far as the tower goes, I just don't see the destruction like I want to and that kind of bugs me. We do have the fountain card which is extra in the Major Arcana. It is a beautiful, plain and simple kind of card to look at, but it is a really great thing to come up in a reading. Um, swords are probably my favorite suit. I love the deep colors. I love just the dynamic of the swords in this deck. They're my favorite suit. Um, I do find that they're very easy to read as a deck. They're clear. They're to the point. I love the masculine vibe. I do not have many decks that are masculine in this way. So I really find that it is to the point. If you need a decision to be made, if you need something to be cleared up, this is the deck that I always turn to. I love to use it for client readings, but I do also read for myself and do personal readings with this deck because again, when I want an answer, I just feel like they give it. I will say that I am not a fan of the wands. I'm just not. <laughs> I love the fact that they use the oranges and the yellows and they, they breathe fire. But there's something about them that is a little off-putting to me. I don't know if it's because I don't like the way that the wands are portrayed or if it's just an aesthetic thing, but... There you have it, that is the full deck. Now for the shuffling. Let's talk about this gilding, like I mentioned before. While it is not sticky, the gilding on the sides is thicker than the card itself, if that makes any sense. It's really hard to show, so I really can't show it in the video. Um, but that's basically the best way to describe it is that the edges are thicker than the cards themselves so sometimes it makes them kind of clump together even though they're not sticky um, but they do overhand shuffle really well you can bridge them if you do a riffle or rifle shuffle um, overall though i could do with the gilding not being so thick Now for my favorite cards of the deck. I break these down into my favorite Major Arcana, my favorite Court card, and my favorite Minor. So my favorite Major Arcana is going to be the Death card because it seems so familiar to me. The second I saw it, it reminded me of the Thestrals from Harry Potter. If you don't know what those are, I would definitely look them up. Um, it will definitely give you a deeper insight to this death card. As for my court card, there's something about this page of swords that just speaks to me. His face seems so personable. 
his energy is almost palpable to me and the colors I don't know they just shine <laughs> and again for my minor arcana we have another sword like I said the swords just give me life in this deck so I picked the two of swords I love the water I love the sheer fabric that's over her I love the swords in the air I love the dark clouds in the background I just can't gush over this card <laughs> anymore um, a close second was definitely the three which had that same turbulency in the background but these are my favorite cards of this deck. So for our midweek reading, what I'm going to do is actually pull from the guidebook these quick draws, one to two cards. I just thought it would be fun to actually use something from the guidebook to do this. And I'm feeling um, number five. Let's see. Uh, where am I getting in my own way? So let's look. I'm about to get close. Hello. So I can reshuffle these. And we will see this week how we might be getting in our own way. This midweek to end week. Maybe a little bit of advice on that. So let's see. Back up a little bit, girl. Back up. <laughs> feeling this top one let's do it oh six of swords six of swords so I feel like we might be allowing our past to kind of jumble us up this week um where are we getting in our own way uh, we can't get out of our head we cannot get out of our head this week and I'm feeling like if we start to let go of the reins at least just a little bit like when you find yourself getting stuck and staring off into space for like 20 minutes and you're like oh where was I <laughs> where am I going that's when we got to reel ourselves back in maybe push ourselves forward go a little bit towards the present just try to pull yourself out when you see yourself going in don't allow you to yourself to go on loop don't allow yourself to continue to bring up this past and kind of work things out that you can't change. Um, let's just keep moving forward this week and we will conquer what we need to conquer. We will accomplish what we need to accomplish, but we can't stay stuck in our heads. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope that things go wonderfully. And if you're looking for me, I have a bunch of links below where you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, I'm on Patreon, all kinds of links below. You can book a reading with me, um, or if you have any questions, feel free to let me know, drop me some comments, and it's lovely to see you guys. Much love.